do. What's on our What's on your Christmas playlist? Um, all sorts. I'll have a look. There's a repeat of my favourite songs in there. Just different rendition, of course. Wait, are they actually Christmas songs or songs you like to listen to at Christmas? Christmas songs. <laughs> I'm that See how there's a difference? Like, there's always Christmassy oh, songs. Oh, 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 until it sleeps. Oh, you know? Porn jingle balls. No. Christmas is here. Bring in the chair. It's actually cool because it's Eli's first Christmas where he sort of knows what's going on. No, he'd recognise the tinsel and shit. Yeah, he's, um... Yeah. Cause he's missing for dinner. Looks all right. It's all right. What's that? Stir fry. Helpful. I'm, I'm actually due to make a stir fry. I haven't made one in ages. Gets himself up. Now he's still going to start to walk soon. Mm. He's, uh, he's a bit of a lazy prick. <laughs> He's good. Today he was eating salmon. Cute. He likes the finer things in life. Yeah. Salmon and mascarpone. Yeah, you know what, Malaka? Your son is lazy. Yeah, but he does things in his own time. It's, ah. No, it's, yeah, it's not laziness. It's just, not, he does shit his, yeah. He's flowy. Dude, we'll sit there and we'll be yelling at him, like, from across the room, like, hey, Malaka, like, we're trying to get his attention. He Still might, like, he might look over his shoulder, like, maybe. And the way yeah, he'll look I'm at you, he's like, you're beneath me. Today you on the couch. What? Get I fucked. like it. Yeah. He's been there, done that. Today on the couch. And you're nothing new. Doesn't give a fuck. Oh, okay. He just chills. He doesn't care. He's... When you want your attention, he looks at you and he's like, Hey! Hey! <laughs> like, Is hey. he a real big cuddler? Uh, he nah, like, man. No. Nah. Will he lay there? No. He, like, when he's tired, like, he, he's mm. got a position with me and only me. Mm. So when he's tired at night, we'll feed him his dinner, he'll have a bottle... And what he does is I put him on my chest and he puts his head here. He knows, I know that when he does that, he's, it's go time. <laughs> like he's ready to go. He's not a cuddler, man. Nah. 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 People not a just annoy, they he's annoy people, him. He's a real uh, boy boy. Dude, real but what boy. does that annoy mean? Him. Like, like he'll chill like that, but he won't chill like that on somebody. No. no. So what about nah, Red? No chance. Yeah, yeah, with Red a little bit, but at night he knows it's, because I come back from work. He's a very independent soul. He likes to do his own thing. He's, he's a bit of a cunt. No, like, he's a cunt. He'll, he'll drop something and he'll look at you and look at the thing. Are you going to pick that up for me or what? I just refuse to pick the stuff up for him. And I, when everyone else does it, I said, don't fucking pick it up. And leave but it. That's why he knows everyone else does it. He with me. There's no mm. fucking about. Because he knows. He throws it. He looks at me. He's like, ah, oh, fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not picking it up. Whether it be a dummy. But he doesn't really take dummies. He doesn't really like them. Um, toys, all that. He just doesn't. He drops it. He looks at me, and I go, "Well, that's gone." Mm. And he's it's like, like "Me there? Like I've I've never been malicious to him or anything for any reason, yeah. And I only see him like once every couple of weeks. Like, I don't get this. So one in in a fortnight, I might see him twice, and then I won't see him again for like two months. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's erratic. He see, recognizes. Now it's huge. Me. I'll come in. I'll greet him. He'll recognize me and just look away and just like watching TV or something. Yeah. And then cold blood. Because <laughs> like. I well, he doesn't house. know you, really. I'm, I'm, I'll go to his house. No, he knows who he is. No, no, I'm comfortable at his house, right? So I take, like, my seat where, like, you know... He's got his spot on the couch. I, I, sprawl, know, like, I sprawl, I look comfortable. I'm not, like, a, a guest where, like, they only sit at the... Ah, man, take something. your shoes you know off. I mean? lay on the couch. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. comfortable enough to see, to look like I'm part of the family. Like, do you know what I mean? Because like, the kid's aware, like, who's a stranger to their house and who isn't. You know what I mean? If a mm. guy's come selling yeah, insurance, yeah. he knows. But he just doesn't give you the time Yeah, time. but, like, I'll be sitting there. He'll just look at me and then look away. Then look at me again. Look away. He'll suss you out for a he bit. He just keep looking at me as in like, from just turn, glance, and then look at the TV. Or like, look at, you know, something on the floor. Then look at me again. And then we figured it out like a couple months ago. I was like, oh, fuck this, I've got him now. So we've stood up and we'd gone up. I can't remember what you were doing. Maybe you changed him or something. But we were standing up and Nick was holding him. So his head was like, you know, over his shoulder. And he was physically arching his neck to look at me. As in just to suss me out and look away. But he kept doing it. Like, we're talking in intervals of like... He's heckling you. Like yeah. eight seconds. Yeah, he's trolling so then, <laughs> so he's turned to look at me. I'm like, all right, man, I've got you. As he's turned his head to look away again, I've quickly run around Nick to his other side. So when he's turned to look back where I was, I wasn't there. So then he's like turned around again and seen me standing back on the other side. So I caught mm. him off guard. And he just looked all shy. He started, like, smiling. And me and Nick started laughing. Like, yeah, okay, mm-hmm. we've got it now. Yeah. He just looked away, like, looked really bashful. Like, yeah, okay, well, they've busted me. They know what I'm doing. Like, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally now. I see the energy. Look at his legs, man. Yeah, that's fine. How fucked. old is he? Uh, 11 months. <laughs> the 11 months today. He had his first birthday. September, so he's 12 months. Uh, 14 months. Yeah. He's cute. He's, um... 11 months. He's a punk-ass motherfucker. <laughs> little punk. prick there. <laughs> He's, awesome. he's, he's a awesome. little prick. But you're right. When he sees someone he doesn't know, he looks down and he's like, mm. 
does that look? Especially if and you won't even back smile. to him? Yeah. I'll do it back to him. Yeah. No, I do. I do it and he's, then he smiles. Yeah. When I do it to him, I walk in, like in the mornings, he's quite a happy kid. So like he doesn't cry. Like at all. I've never heard him cry. I've heard him cry once and it's when he was teething. Yeah. And he was hungry as fuck. And Ren was warming up some food for him. And he was like actually hungry, like yeah. bad. But he, he started drinking. He started sucking. Yeah. That's as bad as it's got. Yeah. I've he never doesn't heard cry, him cry for the sake of crying. He's a little man. Mm. And then, like, in the mornings, he's a really happy kid, so we can hear him on the monitor. He just sits there, and he claps, and he talks, and he fucking does his own thing. So we leave him in bed for a while. He can Bless do him. his own thing. And we walk in, and I just walk in, and I just look at him, and I give him that face. And he does the face to me, <laughs> and then he kind of starts laughing. Mm. That's why I know he's in a good mood, and... Like, <laughs> One day, you, you go in there, look at him, and just, like, throw something at you, like, fuck off! He's got a smoke. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> What are you gonna do for Christmas? You gonna like make a big deal out of it? Because he's my house. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I meant. <laughs> Actually, that was a question. We've had this question before. The whole Santa thing. Huh. Yeah. Are you, well, what are you gonna the, do? We're what the... are you gonna do? Because we talked. No, no, no. We brought it up like mm. a year or two ago. Do you tell your kids about uh, Santa? I'm not gonna tell him nothing. He <laughs> can figure it out himself. We're gonna put the tray up. And now because he crawls and rips shit down and he's almost walking, we're going to put that little picket fence around the tree and stuff. Yeah. I've got him a few little things, um, but um, off on a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That. I got that. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. You just put them somewhere different every, yeah, every time. Yeah, and I write little notes on there and stuff. So, like... You like, disgust me. No, you could, you could do, like, if you're pissed off at them, like, something like that, you could do, I don't do, get like, what this elf on the shelf shit is, man. Oh, it's the best. It's right, just... It's just a vlog. Ba- basically, put a basically he comes out the in... They sent you. He comes out in, uh, in December, and he heckles the family, and ev- and he moves every night, and, I like, threw one of my sister once. You can... <laughs> like, <laughs> like, legit, le- le- with like legit, that. legit got pissed off and threw it at her. So you position it, you you write notes to the kids, whatever, and you do move it every night as parents. Yeah, yeah I'll put one on and the bench And you can manipulate them, it's great. <laughs> if you're not good, Elf on the Shelf will watch you for a whole fucking month. I just month. got the That's idea, because I live alone, I got the idea of putting it like in my building somewhere so kids would see it, but I mean, man, this is noble. It'll get stolen. Steal it. no, it'll it'll get, after a day. It'll get stolen. After a day, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I like because like, Ren's Jewish. Yeah, right? oh, okay. So, but... She loves what's Christmas. The, what's the Christmas car? Christmas car? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but like, it's a Christmas car. But literally, like, I put a tray up. Like, she gets more excited than me. She, I'm going to put the tray up. I'm trying to put it up a and she doesn't early. Let me put, she doesn't let me put the ornaments yes. up because she goes, you're going to fuck them up. <laughs> I, which I will. I'll put them all on one side. <laughs> and that's it. Like, I couldn't give a fuck. So, do you know what I've actually figured mm. out finally? Mm. I realized why Bali has pork and shit everywhere. It's not because it's a touristy area. Remember how I said how, like, Indo is Muslim? Yeah. But, like... Yeah, if it's pretty. Even though it's a moderate country, the yeah. girls wearing short skirts and shit everywhere. It's not because it's a touristy region. It's because the Balinese are Hindus. Ah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That's why all these temples and and shit everywhere. Yeah, but there's alcohol. Oh, was, Buddhist. I guess if it was Muslim. yeah, they're, they're mostly. They're, it's like eighty five percent Hindu. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that, that makes why. sense. That makes sense. I feel like the biggest idiot the entire time. So what do you mean? I've been there up. twice. And I haven't oh. even yeah, Jerry. Yeah, that's why we just assumed it was because of the tourism. It's yeah. not. It's because they're Hindus. Wow. Yeah. The Muslim, cause it's an that island. Makes sense. Cause it's an island. It's independent. Java. From- yeah. It, the, the Islamic, uh, hordes didn't get to the island. Wow. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bad. Doesn't it change everything? Like yeah. literally. It's like, oh yeah. Cause every cunt was covered. Cause everyone's covered in tats. Yeah. 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 You know, everyone's like, drinking. Like the Balinese. They're yeah, literally the Balinese covered in- are covered in tats. I'm like, Hang on, man. I understand the pork if it's just a tourist thing, but they've all got tats. Like, this is a well, joke. In, du- in Dubai, when I went to the supermarket there, they've got a section, like, segregated from... Cause I was there for 10 days, so we were, yeah. like, buying shit. And, like, uh, like the pork section is completely segregated from everything else. Not like, like, almost like you feel bad going there? Yeah. It's <laughs> like, it, it's no, like, really. It's, it's like, like guilting peasant, people. Peasant Dude, food. no shit. And, like, you go there, and obviously there's no alcohol. There's no bottle shops, yeah. which I found out the hard way. And <laughs> you just get dude, the dry I, I went up to the Emirates Mall, right? Because we had a day to kill. We weren't like trading or anything. So I went to the Emirates Mall and I literally went to the service desk and I go, where's a bottle of? Me, a dickhead. <laughs> I said bottle of. <laughs> and mate looks at me and he's like, dude, like bottle shop. And I go, oh, sorry, bottle shop. <laughs> and they look at me and literally give me the dirtiest look and just shake their head like, <laughs> nah. Dude, dude, like, when we're in- back away slowly. <laughs> so what do they do? It's a lot of sex. It's no, do they? Have men- <laughs> <laughs> they do. They got like eighty kids, man, each. Do they have men's clubs? You can buy alcohol. There, there is places you can buy alcohol, but it's no, just that's hush. what I mean. It'll be well, un- we, it's on the hush. Out, we we just got smashed at our hotel because it's because it's in a in enclosed area. 
um, and it's a, uh, they say because it's businessmen and tourists and stuff, they're legally allowed to sell alcohol. But you know how much it costs? Yeah, it's I got cheap. a pint of beer. It cost me sixteen dollars Australian, sixteen bucks for like a shit beer. A scotch cost me twenty four dollars. Like, dude, there are I still bought it. Dude, they're, they're, they're club prices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is like a best western. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but that's a scotch, not an old fashioned. No, this is just a straight up Johnny Red. Yeah, you know, and I'm like. Really? Uh, no. Nah. Do you still want it? But that's just the well, yeah, thing. I still want it. You don't have to go. That doesn't no. look fun. But I got smashed anyway, so it doesn't matter. But, but dude, Arabs have fun. They just don't need alcohol. There's underground clubs that where you can go. Yeah, you can There's buy underground alcohol. stuff. Um, one of uh, one of the taxi drivers that would always come to the hotel during the day, he'd be like, "Boys, you would like to go out today?" Like, he go, "Yeah, we'll go to the mall." But I mean, you want to go out like at night? Mm. Okay, what are you talking about? He's like. <laughs> Just shake his head, this fucking yeah, guy. He's like, you like to go out. <laughs> but like, but... I'm like, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Do you get, Just like, scary. is there punishment with that kind of stuff? Absolutely. If, 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 uh, if a person that lives in Dubai gets caught with alcohol, they cut your hands off. <laughs> that is no joke. That is law. That, that That's is like law. Riyadh, Riyadh specs, yeah, man. Yeah, that is law. That is absolute law. You fornicate, uh, uh, adultery, alcohol... If you go against, like, cause they had morning prayers every morning. Yeah, if you know you're I mean? seen with, if you're a woman and you're seen with, like, you know, and you're unmarried and you're with a dude. Get it. If you're, if, like, I saw a, a gay couple, like, girls, that are walking through the Emirates Mall holding hands. And I said, God, Godspeed. <laughs> cause if they see you, they will lock you up. Doesn't matter if you're a tourist or not. Yeah. You're in their country. You that's gotta respect it, that's their the rules. rules. That's it. Ramadan. Oh, I, it. Like, I was outside. And I lit up a smoke. And I didn't know, because it was the first day of Ramadan, so I had no idea. And the taxi driver comes, and he's like, my friend. And I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, uh, he goes, uh, I don't care. He goes, I'll let you know. He goes, it's Ramadan, so you cannot smoke. What are nothing uh, before sunset? Like, especially in front of, in the public, that's a big yeah, fucking no, 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 no. no. That's a no, man. He goes, I'm just letting you know, if the police see you, he goes, they, you'll be trouble. I'm like, thanks, you for letting me know. <laughs> man, I got smart, quick smart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you don't fuck around there. In the hotel, I'll smoke. They didn't give a fuck. It's my room, balcony, whatever. But in public, it's a big no-no. They'll haul your ass to jail. They yeah. They'll fucking arrest you. Didn't you know that, Aurora? Um, I'm no, not, I'm I don't not, know. But Dubai was I'm cool. Not, I'm not implying that you, you know. No, yeah. I just don't know the ins and outs yeah. of it. Like, no, I, I didn't understand know. understand that it's... Yeah, but I did not. I learned, like, on the job. <laughs> and Dubai's pretty moderate because of all the tourism and the business. Yeah. Go to Riyadh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, and they will fuck you yeah. up there. Go to Yemen. It's re- <laughs> one, two, three, Yemen, yeah. right, Yemen. Like, Yemen. What, like, I don't have any desire to go to any country that, that Dubai's cool. would suffocate me. Yeah, but Dubai's really cool. But, dude, you know what? Experience. Go to another I've co- been to Dubai, like, as in a stopover. No, no, I spent, like, 10, 11 I days I went to there. the Qantas Dubai Emirates Lounge. Okay. Do you know what, man? <laughs> like, that would suffocate you, yeah, because you can't have booze or food or whatever, right? No, but it's just doing what I want to do. Yeah, like, okay, that's fine. You, like, the hotel. you know what bothers me? I, I, I'll be honest, man. And I was, uh, Who was I saying this to? I don't think it was Nick. It was someone. I was having these conversations with someone the other last couple of days. Because we were talking about travelling, yeah? yeah? I said, you know what made Thailand and Bali and Vietnam and even Greece, like, pleasurable? The fact that you could go out in the street and buy fried chicken from a vendor on the side of the road without even thinking, dirt cheap, there's a kid selling water at the lights for 50 cents, mad, give me the bottle of water. Greece, the Suvos, you know what I mean? You can Three visit, euro. You're walking in Thailand, in Bangkok, walking down the street, there's someone chopping up fresh fruit. Just pineapple and fucking watermelon and papayas and Simple shit. Simple pleasures, man. Take it, you know what I mean? I've got... Yeah, I've got 20 cents. Give me some fruit. I'll have, dude, I never eat as much fruit or pretty much as healthy as I do when I'm in, especially a Southeast Asian country, because it's all, f- no, no, I don't want Coke. I don't want booze. I want a watermelon shake. I want a pineapple juice. Well, best pineapple I had was in Indonesia. Dude, f- for breakfast in Bali and Malaysia, that was in as recent you know times, I literally was having fried rice, watermelon, and pineapple juice for breakfast. Would you have a nazi? Day. Yeah, nazi. <laughs> every day. Yeah. What would I eat here for breakfast if I went out? Bacon, eggs, hard cheese, and fucking waffles with... I just have a green juice. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, you want suffocation? Australia's laws are fucking suffocation. The fact oh, that a, a kid... Oh, yeah, I've got to vote. 
a kid can't sell bottles of water on the side of the road because he's got he's a not, permit. He hasn't got a permit. He's not claiming tax on it. Yeah. It's illegal. You can't just have a vendor on the side of the road selling fried chicken. He's got to do about a thousand HACCP fucking hurdles and cartwheels before. Dude, when I was in Rome, there was a kid selling water and I could have kissed him. Yeah. I thought, you yeah, yeah, yeah. little legend. Yeah. I did. I bought yeah. like four I bottles of water from him. Yeah. <laughs> I did he thought it was Spain. Christmas. I did that in Spain. <laughs> I was so dying of thirst. And, and they're like, no, beauty. The, the side like guys are the ones that saved yeah. your life. I came down from <laughs> the Sagrada Familia, man, yeah. in, in, in Spain. I'm like, no. <laughs> just literally threw like a ten. Yeah, you could have kissed him, man. Yeah. I I'm didn't see any of that. Really? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. If you want to talk about suffocation, you can't do any of that here. It's yeah. a joke. I don't care. I'd rather wear short skirts and buy fucking bottled water at a okay. restaurant. I'm just saying, depending on where you are, that's just the country. <laughs> yes. Dude, one of the coolest things... Like- Look, I wouldn't... I wouldn't compare Australia to Dubai. It's fucking different. You Talk can. No, no, but you can compare it because there's still countries. Yeah, and okay, cool. Still, so would you rather live in Dubai? Developed countries. Which suffocation would you prefer? Dude, I can do without booze. I haven't had coffee for three fucking months. If you, oh, if you, you know what? If you're not a drinker, bullshit. if you're not a drinker, I haven't drunk anything. I haven't drunk in. I don't drink. I had, I had a cider yesterday drugs, just to treat myself. Drinking. I don't do drugs. You you like uh, counter drugs like. Yeah, you can get, you get out of them. Easy. Yeah, yeah. they get out like lollipops. Yeah, smoking is fine. Doesn't legal. that make you think though? No. About what? About the fact that pharmaceutical companies and people that fucking run the world and that's legal? Well, that's make, fucking drugs. That's, medicine, that's, money. that's what I'm saying. So what's the, what, the what, point what that point I'm trying to make? I'm confused. The point that I'm, trying trying to make? I'm, not, I'm not having a go at you. I'm just saying, like, what, what's the actual point you're trying to make? Forget. The point that I'm trying to make. No. like heroin. <laughs> the point that I'm trying to make is that it's like, you know, laws and suffocation and blah, blah, blah. These, like, that country doesn't allow alcohol and whatever, but then, uh, like, over the counter drugs. Yeah, no worries, because they're fucking making money off it. No, it's it because benefits them. It's a Muslim like, country. It's part of their religion. Just creed, but if you get caught is, under the influence no, of medication, no alcohol. Muslims can't have alcohol or drugs. Yeah, that's right. But they, because, no, no, but they the can't fact have, that it's a medicine, they can't have, they can't have, not co- they can't have like illegal substances. But you can right. go and get a Valium well, or something. Le- illegal substances. Co- hey, hardline Christian fundamentalists say the exact same right, thing. Right, but a le- I'm not whatever. I'm not calling Muslims out. It's any fucking religion. Okay, it's like what I'm trying to say is that it's like. Um, Laws change with things that are legal, substances that are legal and not. The fucking Quran and the Bible and everything else doesn't fucking change, does it? No, because to suit there's it, a difference between... The point is that they're, that they're making money off what's fucking legal yeah. and or not legal. Or the difference is, is, that's the biggest argument. Never confuse state with church. All right? And that's the problem like with hardline politicians, because they confuse state with church. Fucking that uh, Anna from um, the Young Turks. She, she made a really good point the other day. I was watching this shit about the backlash with uh, Trump and everything that's going on, right? And all these hardline Republican voters are say every argument they ever have, they always bring up the Bible as in their defence. Oh, but in that's the ridiculous. in the Bible it says blah 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 blah. It's like, and she said, and I I've said this all. I've said one hundred percent. I really should have snippeted it because she captured it perfectly. She says. I don't give a fuck what it says in the Bible. I don't believe in the Bible. A big percentage of the universe doesn't believe in the Bible. You can believe it, and I will fight for your right to believe whatever you want. But does not mean that everyone has to go by your fucking, like, fairy tale. If you want to live by it, that's your problem. That's your choice. But I I support your right to that. But I don't need to believe mm. what you believe. But the whole point is it's all embedded in hypocrisy. Okay. It's like what benefits me and what I can control you with, I will do. And then put it on the fucking Bible or the Quran okay. or anything else. You are, you're asking me to tear apart, you're asking me to support you in tearing apart religion. I'll happily do that to you, with you every fucking That's day. That's not what I'm asking. No, no, no. What I'm, what I'm comparing okay. is the fact that it's like, you know, I said to you, well, which suffocation would you prefer? There's suffocation everywhere okay. to some degree. Uh, so it's not like saying I'd happily, you can't say I'd happily more live in Dubai rather than here. Like, well, okay, depends well, on benefits to you. It depends, depends on the government. Doing, depends it what depends they're doing. on what I'm doing in Dubai, first of all. Mm. What, what am I doing there? Like, look, if you're a Westerner there, if I'm living you there, work, then chances are I'm an Arab. Like, I've got a, uh, my, my cousin lives in Dubai. What that's what I'm a, about? There's a lot of Westerners yeah. there. My yeah. co- dude, my no, cousin. I, I actually consider the money's going great. there. He's been there for, f- for five, teaching, but it was a two years stint. And, and, my, and my I don't think I could there. do it. Well, I just started dating Ren mm. and I got a job offer. Yeah. To go to Dubai to work for Supreme. Yeah. Where I worked in Afghanistan, but just in Dubai in the offices. I didn't take it because I thought, eh. Yeah. You know, but I had the choice and they would have housed me and stuff like that. 
but it's a different kind of life. It's yeah. definitely Dude, a different. My life. cousin. See, that's what I'm saying. Is I don't think I could do that. Okay, think about. Okay, you want great to talk experience about though. Smothering Great experience. Did you see what Scomo I'd wants go to there, fucking do? But I wouldn't live Scomo. there. Scomo. Scomo and fucking Abbott somehow is back. How is he back? I, I, saw, I saw the article. Dude, Scomo's back. Uh, uh, Scomo has just put out a thing with Abbott. Like it's not a joint press, but they've been talking about it. They want to bring back religious prayer and studies in school. And they're talking about the gay uh, the gay marriage thing, about rolling that back some What, in some public degree. school? Yeah. How would you feel about that, Aurora? Like, sending your kids to a public school where, like, religious studies are, like, compulsory. Yeah, I- I'm considering it now, like... Like I, I don't know what I feel about school. I'd be, I'd be pulling. Do you know what I mean? Out. Like, yeah, I'd just be. I'd be As in out of the class. Homeschooling. I'd be. Yeah. I'd be looking at Hang alternatives. On. Abbott is saying shit like this, like. But okay. not because there's prayer. You know when they do. You know when a dignitary or someone comes from overseas, right? Like any, like say a politician or something. Yeah, like prime minister of fucking you know Ukraine, right? Yemen. Yeah, <laughs> right. Comes to Australia. Part of that. Part of the in- initial ceremony, they do like the welcoming ceremony with the Aborigines, right? The Indigenous Australians. Mm. They do like the yeah, the fire and the smoke and the fucking possum skin and whatever, right? Not, not taking the piss and out. The and the didgeridoos and all yeah, that. I don't know what it entirely entails. I'm just saying there's a traditional aspect to it. Yeah. Just in, you know. A welcome ceremony. Abbott, was it Abbott? I was reading this today. He said that that sort of shit, like he's got nothing, he hasn't got a problem with it. But it shades on the Christian, yeah, the Christian um, foundations of this country. It's oh, because like, the foundations were Christian. Really? Do you want to go the whole hog and say, well, the foundations of this country were convicts that came here and settled and just slaughtered whoever was here before that? That we can remember. Yeah. Mm. So, what is it <laughs> that you want to bring that. back? And what is it we're, we're shading? That doesn't make any sense. And that's when I was reading more about it. They want to bring religious studies back and blah 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 blah. No, dude. I don't want my fucking kid, my hypothetical son, going to primary school and being forced to do religious studies. We had that. Op- Did you have that? We had the uh, option. We, we, had, we had, um, what was it called? It was called RE. RE. Religious yeah. education. We had that. In yeah. primary school, we had that. Oh, we didn't. Did you but a- you would have gone to a, a, I went to a pu- public. I went to a public school. But was it Catholic? Like Saint, no. Saint, I don't know. No, no, no. It was a public school. Yeah. See, I was never in that class. And I offered it. And and I sat through a few lessons, and I, I was in grade five. Yeah. See, ours was, like, almost sub. Like, we went to the local church. No, no, no. So no. we were offered it. The children that wanted to do it, like, communion, confirmation, Dude. got offered it, and we went to and the local the church. They basically, it. they put it on us, right, initially, and I sat through. I remember sitting through it when I was a kid. And then I remember saying... I don't give a fuck well, about this. Well, that's interesting that some schools <laughs> first, did it and some like, schools it, First didn't. of all, it's not even the religion that was in my household. At the, like, you know what I mean? Like, the Greek mm. Orthodox sort of shit. So, I don't connect with any of this crap. Like, whatever. I, bef- I mean, I wasn't born look, this way. It's all, like, don't you see it, though? Like, I mean, look, it's all uh, under an agenda, maybe we see and we don't see, of, of control. Of, um, of wanting to control the population. And, yeah, it's shit house, but, I mean... It's happening, whether we like it or not. We're all somewhat in it. It's ScoMo um, and their f- stupid fundamentalist ideas thinking that's the way we should turn. Like, do you do you not think, I mean, I haven't even read into it because it's like shit I don't want to worry about because I can't do anything <laughs> about. Yeah. But, like, you know, this the recent attack in Burke and yada yada. Yeah. Like, and then the, a few years ago and whatever. I just went, since when? Aren't you following terrorists? Aren't you, like, well heightened on this shit? Since when? It's come, it's gone, fear. Like, I'm like, bullshit. Like, there's something in me that just goes conspiracy. Aurora. You fucking government just fear-driven bullshit. You need to go back and listen to the two years' worth of podcasts. No, really, like, I don't believe a shit of it. I don't believe a word of it. (laughs) I'm like, this was some random fuck off. Coincidentally, they arrested three suspected terrorists this morning. (laughs) In Dallas, Dallas, uh, Broadmeadows, and Greenvale. They're all in cahoots. And and then (laughs) the dad came out as a Turk. (laughs) Of course he's in Dallas. (laughs) And then I thought of um, (laughs) Stelio. I got that street looks familiar. Yeah, man. It's just fucked. It's It's bad. Coincidentally, a week after the street looks familiar. And we know nothing. It's Stelio Street. And then all the gun shit that's happening, even in America, I'm like, fuck off. Like, really? Like, yes, you could say it's a bigger country and whatever, and maybe you can't pinpoint conspiracy, but I, I would beg to differ. I'm like, what's going on? There's an agenda for that. It's literally just sensationalism as shit. 
that means nothing. Like people, okay, look at this way, yeah. People complaining about, like, say, the gun laws, right? Uh, is it not the gun laws? Someone got killed. Yeah, yeah, someone dies, right, in a gun attack somewhere. Yeah, it's on our news feed for like fucking five days straight. Oh, I've talked about this before, but dude, if you look up firearm offences and firearm deaths on a global scale. There's like a death every four minutes, mm. literally. I'm like, cool, that guy copped it in California. I get it, but is it... Right but, now, there's kids getting killed in Sudan. Just America, it, dude. But, but here's in the a, favelas. Here's yeah. the issue I have with it. It's like, Abadio. yeah, you take away <laughs> guns. Like, I, I get what they're trying to do. Well, uh, what they think they're trying to do or what they say they're trying to do. Um, Like, you take away people's, like, uh, ability to, like, you know, hold guns and whatever, and you take away their power, really, Right. So what the, with the government and the power they have in terms of all that, then they just become bigger, stronger. No, do you know? Okay, Aurora, right, this is the okay. We're talking about America right now. Yeah. Okay. The argument with the American gun laws is they're nothing like Australia's or anywhere else in the world, really. They they're not regulated to the point where. So they're trying to regulate it. This is only what, to a like no, no, a scope. They're trying, they're trying to regulate it to the point where. Okay, look at this way. In '96, we had the, the Port Arthur massacre, right? Biggest gun massacre. Yeah. In history. John Howard was fresh in, in power, so as a show of strength and reform, he's like, I'm going to do something. So he overhauls a gun system, which was outdated. I'm My father has fucking firearms. I grew up around guns. Mm. I fully support your right Hunting to have one. This, yeah, everything, whether it's yeah. self-defense or whatever. But they were outdated and unregulated. So we overhauled it and said, okay, no semi-automatic weapons, no fully automatic weapons, yeah, you licensing. honed it in. Yeah, honed it in. Saying right. there's no need for you to have military-grade weapons that they it. have in fucking Africa. But is that what they're trying to do, just hone in it in? In America, that's what they want to do. Because, dude, in America, you could go to Kmart and buy an yeah. AR fucking rifle. Yeah, AR-15. A military-grade rifle. If I show... Like, dude, I play video games. Yeah, with this. I remember playing these video games and people coming over... And I'm like, you see this rifle? This is what the kid used in f- that fucking, you know, the church, the Baptist church. Have a look. I- I'm yeah, not even joking. That's for that, Dude, that is like, like the AR joke. semi-automatic firearms. If you saw it, you'd be like, that's insane. That's isn't that what they'd okay, have in the so army? So they're not wanting to take no, them no, away completely. But the Republican stance on it, like Trump's stance, mm. everyone that died in the synagogue, like the ten, the, the victims, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trump's stance was, well, if they had an armed guard, that wouldn't happen. What are you talking about? If they had an armed guard, the armed guard would get killed as well. Yeah. That's it. If I went into a synagogue fully intent on killing 10 people, or, or, like killing people randomly. I agree on honing that in. Yeah. Sure. But that's what I'm saying. But it's, it's, but this is, it's not black and white. This it's is America's like gun culture. That's why Chicago is the way it is. That's why. Because the, and then in Texas, it's like. Free to carry, yeah. man. Free to conceal, have a concealed yeah. weapon. Mm. Alabama. Mm. Like, that's what I'm saying. Their laws, their gun culture. Completely is, different. That is a cultural issue in, well, in America. Mm-hmm. I went to get a Kmart in the US. Yeah. Access denied. <laughs> I can't, I can't get onto Kmart yeah, because yeah. you can't buy like their yeah, shit yeah. and import it in. You but that's fuckers. the problem, Aurora. Their gun culture is the issue in itself yeah, yeah, because sense. the argument is like Trump brought it up months ago, and I've mentioned this before. Trump brought it up saying, "Oh, video games and movies—they're really violent." It's like, hang on, Japan has got the biggest audience for video games, video game users in the world. It's they have like two gun deaths a year, if that. Country too, yeah. You know what I mean? Like literally the lowest gun rate in the world. But they've got the biggest video game usage. So that's nothing to do with the video games or the movies. It's the culture behind it. And that's the American stance, and that's why we're different. We don't think, like, oh, I'm going to get a gun and fucking shoot you. We think I'm going to beat the shit out of you like a man. That's Aussies. You can always count on an Aussie to get into a brawl. I'm, 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 dude, the world laughs at us for that. Remember Russell Crowe on South Park? Yeah. Fighting around the world. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the Aussie, everyone looks at Aussies as brawlers because of... Uh, Russell Crowe and, um, was it Russell Crowe that threw the phone? No, uh, oh, wait. Yeah, he turfed the phone in the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Russell Crowe's Yeah, man, he's the best. But legit, you can buy guns that came out. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's nuts. I, that's, that's... Okay, I don't know how we got into guns, but I want to I get back to something we were saying before I about uh, Christmas <laughs> and the presents and shit. I actually want a gun. Or... <laughs> yeah, I want to go to a shooting range. No, 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 I actually want a gun. I want a Beretta 9mm with a double barrel chamber. If you go to a shooting, range you, go to a shooting range, you need to have a firearm on you. Mm. You, can, you can't hire guns for the day. Like, mm. I've actually got custom guns in my phone that I've designed. <laughs> like, That's a bit I like point. guns. I do like guns. Dude, if I was in America, I'd have a gun. 
Look, I've grown up around rifles. Yeah, yeah. Right? What are you going to do? Scared. Look at it. Look this way. I All like right. Guns. As yeah. far as craftsmanship yeah. goes, you got to think about something, yeah? As far as the actual mechanics of, of a pistol, let's say a pistol, right? Or a rifle, it doesn't matter. The actual mechanics behind it, the engineering behind it, the history behind it, the craftsmanship. I get it. You know it's what I mean? pretty. They it's are like, beautiful it can be as pretty as, of, as, 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 as a watch house. or jewelry. Yeah, they are beautiful mm. pieces of art. I get it. And there's a lot of technology, there's a lot of engineering behind it and the concept behind it. Mm. Right, having a gun just to say I've got a gun, I'm a sick cunt. No. You're an idiot. That's the yeah. wrong reason, and that's where the culture starts. Mm. Yeah, it, it's a, that's a whole other issue, like a massive. So issue. let's talk about Christmas. Okay, this is what I want to ask you before. <laughs> oh, that's I'm, what my grandfather's got in his house. That's mad. From the war, old school war. I've been using one in that cowboy game oh, that cool. I've been playing. Red Dead that's Redemption. That's getting passed too. down that to me. That is a very cowboy antique. Gun. <laughs> Break brass stock flintlock. Oh, that's sick. That's what he's uh, got there. Anyway. This is what I want to ask you because you're the. Only, I mean, you can help us answer this, maybe. All right? Maybe. Okay. All your social media and shit, right? That you have, right? Hey, calm down. I mean, let me get. To I my deleted point. it for a day. Why? I just I, no, just for a day because I actually had a friend that messaged me on it and just like, oh, I tried to message you and I couldn't. And I'm like, all right, I'll go back on. But I actually just want to delete it. What? I want to get a second phone. I want to delete As it. Insta? Insta? Over it? I'm um, just... I, Dude, yeah, my- It's not even over it. It doesn't even take up a lot of my time, like, at all. I'm hardly <clears> on <throat> it. It's just I post and get off. But um, I just like the feeling of falling off the web. Man, no one, dude, I why did you shut down Facey? Yeah, I like it. You've seen my social media account. It's I haven't almost done nothing Facebook personal for like anymore. seven years. My social media account is almost nothing personal ever. Yeah, and it's the best. Okay. Let me make my point. Mm-hmm. On social media, do you follow any like actors, models, or any like, male mm-hmm. actors or models? Mm-hmm. Right? Do you follow any that wouldn't be like they'd be off the beaten track, as in yep. they wouldn't have like sixty billion followers? Yes, that and have, I love like, them. Eight hundred thousand or two hundred. You're going to laugh, but I love their family. No, no, no. I'm not laughing. You look do, at- no, I'm going to tell you who, and you're going to oh, laugh. Oh, here we go. James Van Der Beek. <laughs> Dawson. Yeah, Dawson. Dawson. Dawson Leary. Dawson Leary. Dawson. Wait. Duke Leary Jout. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And his wife have four or five kids. Yeah. They, they are a fucking holistic fa- I love them. He's the best dad. I'll be honest. James Vanderbeek. <laughs> He seems like a such. They seem he's a like sitcom. such a very conscious he took the family. He's out of himself yeah. in um, yeah, James Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I'll give him that. It's like, hey, you agree? No, but even uh, in the, this current series, he's been in like. Yeah, he was in that comedy series like a year ago. Yeah, and it was like him. Like it's typical. Something about my girlfriend's apartment. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Something. It was yeah, funny. It was, in that. It was probably yeah. the best thing about that. Yeah. That B in the Apartment Twenty Three. Yep. Yeah, I watched two episodes. I saw him in it. I'm like. Yeah, yeah, right. it's Dawson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but that's what I think. I I couldn't remember his name, and I called him Dawson's Crack. Yeah, it's Dawson's Crack. That's what crack. I would call him yeah. when he was on Dawson's it's Crack. Da- he'll he'll forever be Dawson. Like, yeah. great though. Great, okay. great chat. Okay, not Dawson because he's still Hollywood and he's oh, a okay. I'm talking about non-script models or like. Oh, what was your question? <laughs> this is my question. I'm, I'm asking Aurora because I don't follow any male models yeah. or even people who are just pretending to be male models. M- models, but okay. The reason why I'm asking is this, yeah. I follow like yeah, you know, three dozen fucking Instagram models, hip hop models, like yeah, you know, not not um big asses. B- b- yeah, literally, yeah. not not fucking a Kardashian, not celebs, mm. but not, yeah, not women with between sixteen thousand to eight hundred thousand followers, mm. right? And almost all of them have got wish lists on their Instas, and like in face you can find it. La la. What's a wish list? Wish lists. Wish lists. And I remember these wish lists back in the day, like ten years ago. I'll never forget it. Mm. Where literally women would put up a wish list on Amazon or like, you know, some shopping site and dudes would buy them. Okay. Buy them oh, no. The wish list is in on every site now. It's not for Christmas. No, no, no. But they advertise it on their social media. You have a wish list? And a lot of them advertise. I, have, it's like, I put things on my wish list in every app. No, and no. Then, but you don't put it there. Excuse me. Buy it when it's on sale for myself. No, no. Oh. You don't put it there to invite other people to buy it no. for you. Oh, and you mean like say, a yeah. registry type yeah. of wish and list? And a, a lot of these women oh. will say, you know, <laughs> spoil me on Patreon and I'll spoil you back. So, you know, a dude will throw 20 bucks at him on Patreon or something. Yeah, paid side. Yeah. And she'll figure it's in front of the webcam. Yeah, she'll send a, a 20 second clip of her, like, doing a twerk or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? I was going to ask you, are there men 
out there, like male model sites or like wannabe Instagram model sites, where these dudes have wish lists. I've never seen it. You've never seen it? But I haven't seen the female ones either. Okay, but you wouldn't necessarily go looking, like, digging no, through the I archives. No, I've never, no. I've noticed this since the beginning of time. Like, literally when the internet got big, like, you know, 2002 specs, I started noticing it there. And I'd be like, what the hell? How is she? And I used to say it there, like, how the hell is she getting away with, who's going to buy her something? But schmucks would be out there, like, throwing coin at it. Well, I think the old-fashioned way of doing that is sugar daddying it, right? But that's my point. I was just going to ask, are there men that would get away with that shit? Because so, someone brought up this whole Men do thing. get away with it. It's just a battering system. Yeah, but see, Aurora, can you pretend for a second that you're not you? I'm friends with you because you're real <laughs> like that, and we share the same sort of opinions on that sort of shit. I'm asking it in the greater scope of the and He's the not going to put a wish list up going, I need a gobby this Christmas Eve. <laughs> no, no, no. And no, no. I want you to lick my items. asshole and stick no, no, a bigger like, in a there. Wish list, a wish list of items. The Edible chocolate do. undies. <laughs> yeah, but but the thing the thing is that usual men that I know if they want something like that, like I mean, like it's not just men; it's a woman thing too. You're gonna buy it yourself, and usually the stuff people want is fucking expensive, like men and their toys, like unless it's a PlayStation. No, no, but this is my point. Like these women, like you look at these Instagram accounts. Like I flick through them, and so I'm like, how the hell is this? It's not in a man's man's thing to go. It is hey, right? Buy this for me, a mm. woman. It's not. The energies okay, are different. So- that's why I'm asking, because I've never obviously seen it. But but I mean, I don't think... I was it, never on I've never Reese's seen it. page before it blew They're, up. I'm like, sure it's there. I'm sure you've got men hustling it too. Absolutely. Like, no, but like, I want to see it. That's what I'm saying. I'm asking anyone out there. I don't even see the women's. Anyone out oh, there. I've seen you. Send so it to... That's not Instagram right. Male model. Dude. Send oh. the link to That's Not Right DMs. Like, I haven't seen it. I'm not even... Jo- okay, look. Once we leave here and I've got some time, I'll, no, no, no. So I don't, I don't physically go looking for it, but it just, I've noticed it. Cause I got into this whole thing about battle of the genders and, you know, women have copped it so hard and whatever. Like it would just keep going back and forth, right? And it's like, oh, who's got it worse, you know? But I thought about it. I'm like, hang on, man. There are literally women with 10,000 followers on Instagram putting up wish lists for dudes to go buy him shit. Or like, yeah, spoil me and I'll spoil you back. Like, what the fuck, man? No man could ever get away with that. Never. Can you imagine a dude putting up a list saying, buy me this shit from Amazon and I'll spoil you no, back? No, he'd be like, so give me this shit a, and I'll like, spoil a, you they, back. Do they put it as an actual photo? Photo. It's there. Like, under their profile, yeah. it's literally like, you know, f- uh, silk silk set, beach set, wish list, Patreon link. Go to Patreon and spoil me. I'm not even joking, my lucker. That's like, fucked. That's what I'm saying. Like, men could never get away with that shit. Could you imagine that? Yeah, they just go on Gumtree and go, hey, who's willing to give me a gobby for a nice dinner? Who says that? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? Look, what personal are you looking at? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just like, there are people There are people on Gumtree going, oh, I need a friend. Like, of course. like just You can whatever. get on Gumtree to get a friend? A lot of people do. Oh, yeah. Really? Let's go get some friends. Oh, look. <laughs> we need friends, man. You can get, like, worn undies. Like, I know that. I, I know that for a fact. But it's the same thing. Hang on. You can actually get a friend off Gumtree. Dude, I am on it right now. <laughs> there are people go- seeking friendship on Gumtree. Really? To look personal. I, I know it's on Facey. Like, you know, th- I know there are forums where it's like, you know, moving to Melbourne, you know, yeah. looking for people. Maybe it's not so cr- as creepy as I said it. But You're making it out like it's an ad in Gumtree. Like, we'll... But it could be creep. I love it. It says, what are you looking for? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> it could be creepazoids hiding the fact that they're creeps and presenting it in that fashion. I'm just moved to the state. Oh, they, they show me Hello Kitty books. You know what fucking annoys me? When someone describes themselves as a romantic. Like, as in that... As okay. in, they're labelling themselves, I'm a romantic, so... I fucking hate that. You what, have no idea. What do you idea. mean? What, what about that? If someone describes that? himself as a romantic or a hopeless Ooh, romantic. Why does that get under your skin? He's like, Jim, shut the fuck. You don't ever describe psychics. yourself as a romantic to anyone else. Like, why? What are you like propping yourself up for, man? I don't understand. But and, maybe they're not saying, maybe they're using the word romantic as idealistic. No. No, no, no. Missed connections. What's as this? in, as in they're making a point. Okay. It's weird. You look at it like they're making it a point to to big note themselves. Yeah, and it depend and the argument will always be different uh, not the argument, but the stance will always be different 
for a man or a woman. As in, that word itself will mean something different to a man or a woman. Like, a man will say romantic, but what he really means, he doesn't actually know it, is chivalrous, right? Because a man... Yes. An, an idiot man that thinks he's going to get a woman by saying that he's... Oh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm really a romantic uh, yeah. sort of guy. So you have to really be understanding of the intention behind what they That's my saying. point. It's not about A woman saying, saying that romantic. she's romantic generally means she doesn't want to give up sex until she's gotten that box of fucking chocolates and what six a roses. Joke. See, I don't... If I would describe myself as a romantic, I don't think any of that. Exactly. I've had men tell me they're romantic and not to even tell me, show me, you can clearly see that they're yeah. romantic people. Yeah, but you don't need to say it. But the people that... That's my point. That people that say it generally don't know what the word means and they misinterpret it with chivalry or like... Or they're being disingenuous and yeah, trying yeah. to get somewhere. Exactly. Do you understand my point? Mm. That fucking irritates me, man. Like... Every time I hear, I feel like punching these cunts out in the face, man. Yeah, but maybe don't do that. Just seek the intention behind. <laughs> gum tree have, re- have removed. <laughs> gum tree. Still a gum, is there no, no. gum tree. No, no. Gum tree removed their personals. You can't do that oh, anymore. Oh, to me. But I'm on. But I'm on Craigslist Melbourne. Yeah, there <laughs> is you it go. Craigslist. They I removed the one in Melbourne. No, they removed. Yeah, legit. Craigslist Melbourne. Dude, I thought that was only the states. No, nah, they removed the personals, so you have to go under missed connections. <laughs> Your name is Mike. We had, a couple, <laughs> we had a couple of cocktails together, and you were supposed to meet me back there at 11, but you never showed. <gasps> That's pretty right. I thought you should have taken my number, but never said so. Uh, now I'm confused, but still hopeful. <laughs> Can't seem to find you one. Oh, this Don't is Don't do naughty. Let's do naughty. Uh, oh, look up do naughty. Forgot your profile name, Super Something. Uh I waited for two hours. Super Sonic. So totally sure you never came back. <laughs> what the hell are you reading, man? Someone's personal. Just, just hoping something got in the way. If you remember me, interested, let me know. Hang on. So what? Are they yeah. actually Kim? So is it just a personal note, like legit, like misconnections? Like I hope. Oh. I really need to bring uh, my Richard Mercer tape, don't I? Lost your contact details. You are my cute Asian friend, and I was your handsome gym fit man. Please get in contact. Can we read one? I want to see these. <laughs> <laughs> you got to read it. What are you reading there? <laughs> All personals. Irish guy on OKC who matched with blonde wearing navy ruffle top, Melbourne. Are you the Irish guy in Melbourne who matched with me on OK Cupid on 27th of October, then wrote me a message, but immediately deleted me after? I figured if you wrote to me, you perhaps didn't mean to delete me. I never got the chance to see your message before you disappeared. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? She clearly needs Dude, her. My name is Alison. I have long blonde hair. My profile picture showed me wearing a sleeveless navy top with ruffles. Want to reconnect? Do not connect me with unsolicited services or offers. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part is it's a man's voice reading a chick's personal. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's fucked up. Have you ever written a personal? Like, you know, you see him in the, um, what's that, MX? Is that the, the magazine, the paper? Yeah, Missed the, Connections. Like, That's what it would be under. Yeah, they always have those personals right at the bottom. It's like... Housing. The, the, dude, house. the dude with the Slayer t-shirt and the fucking nose ring. You know what I mean? I never. However... Carpools? You can carpool. I did have someone hit me up on a train... What do you mean? Oh, this is good. Wait a second. As in approach you for a chat? Yep. So, you know, when you say misconnections. I've hit up a, I've hit up a woman on a train. Yeah, but this is the way you did it, right? All right. Let's see this. So, we were on the um, the platform waiting to get on a peak hour train, right? <laughs> you need to get this music back on. <laughs> <laughs> I get... Um, <laughs> no, no, keep going. I... Um, I haven't seen this guy usually because I would go like yeah. the same time, the same station You'd seen every day. And... No, I hadn't oh, seen you him. Haven't? Oh. And I looked over and I was like, "Oh, you're different." Like he actually looked really cute, tall. Russian. You're people watching. Well, I was just sort let's of. Let's be honest. We all. Let, let's be honest. I was waking up. Okay? okay. Okay. Sleep still in my eye. Yeah. Like another so you said day. Tall Russian. <laughs> tall Russian. And I was like, "Oh, you're cute." Yeah, Equal whatever. <laughs> so I get on the train. I sit down. And he sits down. There was actually an empty spot between us. He sits down next to me, but with an empty spot, right? And I'm like, okay, there are other seats here, but okay. So I'm looking out the window. (laughs) Well, I'm kind of giving off that vibe like... Come stand right next to him. Yeah, like I'm kind of giving off that vibe like, can't be fucked. Like, just go away. Like, you know. So you're being a woman. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Then, so I have to go all the way to the city. And I, he takes out this piece of paper and... 
I can see in my peripherals he's like looking over me and looking back at this paper and he's writing, he's looking over, he's writing this whole way to the city. I'm like, oh, mate. <laughs> Do you like, like me? Box yes, box no. <laughs> Maybe. I'm Maybe. so, I'm like, at this point I'm like, what is happening? And I didn't want to look over. Uh, and the pa- and the train becomes more packed and packed and packed as we get to the city. At this point, people are, like standing everywhere, um, and I had to get up early enough to then get out of my stop. <laughs> you um, run to the door, <laughs> and I was thinking that he might get up. Like that's yeah. how I felt it a bit creepy, and he didn't. And just as the doors opened, and I'm trying to get through, I get a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. And all he does, seriously, he doesn't say a word. He just looks me in the eye and he hands me this folded piece of piece of paper. And I take it from him trying to get out. Like, I'm just like, okay, like, get out. Summons, you've been so served. Is, no, no, right. <laughs> Please appear so, at the court. Plot twist, you have chewing gum on your shoe. paper. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to embarrass you, I'm sorry. <laughs> For all of twist. 40 minutes, he wrote that. <laughs> Um, you have snot in your shoe. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, so I look at it. Yeah. I was too scared for a bit. I went and got my morning coffee. And then I look at it and it says, to a beautiful stranger. So I open it. And I'm not kidding you. <laughs> this Did you fucking, <laughs> No. There's this artistic drawing in pen. I was like, yeah. right. Of this... Oh, it was very romantic, quote unquote, but like a bit creepy if you look too far into it. And it was like I was uh, in this robe sort of like he was leaning over me. This was the picture. And I was, yeah, and he had a rose in his, listen, he had a rose in his mouth and he was sending it like to my mouth. And I, he had a robe on and I had this dress on. He had a robe on. He had a robe, like a, like a towel. There is a man. And he was like leaning. A lot of <laughs> and I'm not kidding. And it was like, but it was a gorgeous drawing. And then he wrote, oh, he fucking spoiled it. So he wrote, um, it was easier to do this because your beauty intimidates me. Pussy. Um, <laughs> Or something like that. And then he goes, you know, this is what he said. But, Fuck him. But I'd love to catch up, call me for a good time. Like, oh, for a good, yeah, for a a good, good time. time. See, okay. if he just wrote that and his number, then you would have, you would have scratched it up anyway. I wouldn't have called him I because that. I was with somebody. Yeah, but that's fair I would have been like, oh, that's sweet. When that's I broke whatever. up with him, I would have taken that out and gone, yeah, oh. But for a good time. <laughs> what, are we, what are we, a toilet cubicle? <laughs> there, there is a man who goes home and plays with himself every day. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's bullshit. That 40 so minutes and you couldn't turn around and say, hey, my name's blah, blah, blah. Sorry, not interested. No, do you know what that cool. told me? <laughs> he does that often and it works. Uh, well, no. I yes. don't think so. Yes. No. Yep. He did it so naturally. Like, this guy was... <laughs> That's his job. <laughs> this guy <laughs> was writing like... That's the loop. There was no... <laughs> Frankston. He looked, he looked too confident. <laughs> He's got an esky under his thing for lunch. He's got the sandwich and the drinks. I've heard so, so many... So that's idealism that's squashed. Hang on. I, I've heard so many horror stories from women about guys that they've met, like for dates or whatever, whether it was like, you know, online on Tinder or some shit. And... They've gotten all amped up and like all jazzed up because like, oh my God, he rolled up and he had like a dozen roses and he was fucking dressed up and we went for that dinner. That means nothing. Yeah, yeah. And like this epic shit. And then I'll ask the follow up like, you know, a couple of days later. I'm like, oh, how's it going with Mr. Fabulous? It's like, oh yeah, I don't think it's going to work out. Like, why? And it's just like some shit you would have seen like a mile away. You want to know where I took Ren for our first date? <laughs> and what I wore? Dude. I had just finished work. Don't disappoint me. Oh, you'll be disappointed. <laughs> What's that uh, Italian kind of restaurant, but it's everywhere? Not La Pocchetta. It's better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's. No, better than that. It's like one of those on Chapel Street, and there's one in, like, I don't like Italian either. They're owned by an Italian family or Greek family. Doc? Oh, no, that's too Well, I think it was Brunetti's, but nah, there, that's right. it's no, what, there isn't one on Chapel. I literally rocked up in work boots. <laughs> Jeans and a flannel. <laughs> Look at her face! You know why? Do you know why? You're broke. <laughs> Not just that. <laughs> Probably yeah, that too. <laughs> you know why? why? Because 
I, I was sort of like testing her in a way. Oh, you Bren was, knob. No. This is first day. She married me, mate. I know. <laughs> but hang on. First day. You're testing her the first day. No, not testing her in a way. More of like, um, if she likes me like this, then fuck me, I'll give her anything. You know Maybe what? you were too insecure. No. That's just how I dress. <laughs> That's just how I dress. This well, she wanted to go on a date with you, and this is who you are. This is who I am. Yeah. And the next day we went on, yeah, I'll put a shirt on. Okay. You know, and she's like, well, this is different. Have you ever put a shirt on since? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> at a <laughs> wedding, maybe. I had to, no, oh, to dress him at his wedding, man. Oh, Seriously, oh, I gotta, can you do my cuffs yeah, now? Man, I, I dressed him at his wedding. Dude, I am no frills. <laughs> I'll, put, my lacquer, I'll, I'll be honest. Dude, that was the last time I ever saw you in a shirt outside of me For, and you going to Guinnessy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Dude, hang on. That's the first time you would have ever seen me with a tie. No, wait a second. <laughs> uh, See, I, I love the variety in wait, it. Wait, 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 hang, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm doing the maths quickly in my head. I look goodness. That was two years ago, yeah, but you right? Do. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah. We would have gone for your bucks after party and you wore a shirt. My birthday, you, you wouldn't have worn a shirt. <laughs> I did. You <laughs> didn't. But I don't think I've ever seen you in a shirt since. Two years. I just don't feel comfortable. The variety is great. <laughs> but you feel comfortable in a flannel. Oh, yeah. Get yourselves a few nice flannel shirts. I do, I do. Hipsters. A little. You can go there. Yeah, but I wear like the old like lumberjack. <laughs> the Kmart. But they $10 can be specs. they can be done up. <laughs> nah, <laughs> there, there is no done in they doing look them fucked. up. Fucked. Nah. But anyway, no, that guy's a creep. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. if you went if you went Clearly. to Nobu or something. You'd wear a shirt or a, a nice t-shirt. Yeah, like when I went to Nobu, I took Ren. When was it for, for her birthday? Yeah, in August. Yeah, I wore just a really nice t-shirt. Nice black jeans and my black Timberlands. Yeah, because yeah. that's just what I feel comfortable in. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I will wear a shirt to make an effort sometimes. It's not like I'll go to a wedding or a birthday. Yeah, and Ren will be like, "This is more of a shirt thing." I'm like, "Yeah, sweet, okay." I'll yeah, put a shirt okay. on. I won't fight it. I won't be like, no. <laughs> you know what? Just sitting like in every other floor. man. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> like, I won't fight it. I just had I mean? a visual of my mum and dad. You know what I fucking hate? I hate especially men that don't have any real confidence, so they overcompensate by dressing up to the shit just to go get a fucking beer. Because they don't have any actual yeah. confidence in their words or their ability, so they just... Put on whatever the fuck they have. Well, yeah. They wear like a Versace shirt. I think, it's like, dude, you just. Do you know what I hate seeing coffee, though? Do you know what I really yeah, hate? Know, I know seeing who you're talking about too. <laughs> or hate or dislike seeing is like when you know you've got a woman who knows how to dress. She's not like to the hills and overly done, but she's lovely and presentable. And then you've got this drongo that's with her. That's like, oh yeah, de- 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 like, like downplayed, and you're just like. Mate, do you respect yeah. your woman enough to to be like yeah, look, proud yeah, that I'm like with slob, her? Yeah. You know, like that annoys me, yeah. and I see that a lot, actually. Yeah, but dude, a lot. I'll make that distinction with anyone, not necessarily someone I'm involved with, but anyone. Like, dude, dude me and you went to a fucking movie on a Saturday. I might say to you, hey, man. What are you what wearing? Are we, what are we doing before the movie or after the yeah, movie? We're going to dinner. Right. We're getting drinks. They're like, no, nah, I don't know why. I'm like, I don't know, man. Am I tracking it Is up or do you want to go yeah, out? Yeah. And if you said, nah, nah. I'm, nah and that was, says something about you, too. Like, it's like, I don't want to look like, you know. I want to look like a fucking a a bum. Or, a yeah. bum. Yeah. yeah, when people have clearly made the fucking effort. And like, there's a yeah. total other side of things when oh, the guy's yeah. just fucking over the top. I've said it before. And I say it to women. I say it. Yeah. I say it. Don't date anyone that thinks they're prettier than you are. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, so I can't deal with the manscaping more than more than (laughs) manscaping. (laughs) Fuck that. More like waxing and shit. Underrated word. Like you know, Ren tries to come at me at me with um like tweezers and shit. Just like clean up. I'm like, get away from me. Tweezers. Like, I don't have, I'm really lucky. I don't have like mono, mono or anything. But she goes, oh, I just saw a little hair. Okay, get away from me. Now. <laughs> and she backs away. But then she'll come in and do a sneaky, like, <laughs> 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 you know, like sneaky. <laughs> you that looks really dangerous with tre- tweezers. She's pretty good, man, with weapons. Yeah. She's Russian. <laughs> she knows how to handle a weapon, man. She's. I had a nine-year-old tell me I had a monobrow the other day. I'm like, what? Oh, thank what? you. Just slapped him into next week. <laughs> what do you well, mean? I would have been like, do you want me to start pick a park, like a pick, picking up your, um, your insecurity? She's nine. And she was basically like, Aurora, you have a monobrow. I'm like, do you know what a monobrow is? 
She goes, yeah, it's when you have hair in between your eyebrows. I said, yeah, but not five, where it's maybe like continuation. Yeah, we're, talk- we're talking like, you explained what the yeah, difference? I had to, yeah, I explained the difference, but I'm like, I just felt like smacking her fucking from here to Timbuktu. Hey, you've got a mustache. I was like, <laughs> please, I'm tr- like, I don't tweeze it, so it's unruly. But I like it that way because I'm like, yeah, but it's not it. like <laughs> who the fuck goes and looks between your eyebrows? Like, Hang on, she does. Where is it? Five years old? Nine. 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 Where would she have gotten that to observe though? Um, it would have been like adults, friends, whatever. TV. It. She. It didn't come from her because she's not that, and we don't treat her that way. Like we're not very like that. I talk, always talk about health, yeah. not diets, not fat, not thin. Thing we in. always talk about health. I always talk about puberty and how you might put, you know, yeah. a bit of weight on. You know, like always, I make fun of it, but in a cute way, Take like care I'm of yourself, endearing. But, yeah, yeah, like Dude. we always talk about things that way. So very, I think that that's a very kid but that influence. Age there just. She's learning, oh. Because she's only a couple of years away from high school, like three years no, away from high school. She, so this is where she's got to learn. It's nuts. Yeah. At like nine, she you're started in grade three, to, basically. Yeah, grade, three, she grade told four, me that she knew the meaning three, four, of the four. word, the C word. Wow. I like, was like, "What do you mean?" School's C different word, these days, though. I saw a quote unquote article in a quote unquote newspaper yesterday, and I lost my shit. What? The headline was, "What to do if you break out at Coachella at a music festival?" As in pimples. And I thought, break out, does that mean like as in OD or something? OD or off your head or something? And I looked it up, and the next line was literally something about getting acne at Coachella. Would you get acne what? at Coachella? And what's that? What? Who gives a shit? <laughs> I don't know. But this was in a paper. Dude, this was in a paper. This is what we pay journalists for? And I was just like, dude, have you gone to like, you know, Earth Core or something where people are running around half naked, covered in dirt, don't shower for like four or days? Rainbow Wait, unquote, was yeah. it Sun Herald? <laughs> <laughs> quite unquote like a, Age a certain news with a dot com on the end uh, oh yes yeah yeah brilliant brilliant that, 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 that certain that certain, that certain one i get updates they've really stepped up the game <laughs> you know like they're there i've actually turned off the notifications that, that was a legit headline on something i'm like dude really who the, like who who gives a shit about a fucking pimple, man. <laughs> and that, dude, all right, that's where I was trying to tie in before about the whole fucking aging thing slash culture thing slash image thing slash la la. I'm body positive beyond like fucking any normal measurement, right? But there's you got to draw the fucking line somewhere, man. Remember I said it? I, I might have said it on a podcast like a year or two ago. I was driving along. Yeah, I definitely, definitely said it. I was driving along Noble and there was a, a car next to me and there was a teenage girl in the passenger seat. And her mum, was I'm assuming it was her mum, was next to her. And she had, like, full fucking face, like, collagen, Botox, oh, yeah. like, over the shit. And it was, like, 9 o'clock in the morning, right? And she had, like, the the, the Eminem tennis visor yeah, hat, yeah. like, you know, trendy fucking... She was going to go fuck the tennis coach. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I said, how can... <laughs> How can you be like that in front of your impressionable teenage girl? That's the example she's setting. You're trying to teach your daughter to believe in herself... You know, and she's beautiful regardless, and la 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 la, and like you know, all that sort of shit. But then you're literally going over the fucking hill. Well, I think this is the point. It's like everything in life needs balance. You're not going to say, um, <clears throat> like, I think you need an awareness of, like, being presentable, looking good, taking care of yourself. Um, we all have vanity. It's vanity is un- unacceptable to say, oh, it's only the inside that counts. That's no, no, bullshit. That's a lie. It's all of it. Vanity yeah. has existed it's since all of the it. beginning of fucking uh, exactly. time. Exactly. So I yeah. think what's safe to say is is it comes back down to being conscious of where you're in balance and where you're not. And obviously, if that woman was that way at 9 o'clock in the morning, Dude, was... whatever, and if that was a daily mm. occurrence, not just an off thing, then uh, it'd be questionable. It'd be like, well, shit, you ne- someone needs to wake you up and go, hang on. Do you have issues or Wasn't do you right. understand what you're doing? I still, dude, I'm, I'm almost positive that I brought this up on a podcast British familiar. like a year or two ago, but I, I still fucking remember seeing it. She's just out of balance. And I was just like, man, much like how that. can you possibly stand there and tell your daughter with a straight face when she gets bullied about, you know, her weight, her hair, her clothes, something, how can you sit there and tell her with a straight face, you're beautiful just the way you are? It's like, you've spent 30 grand on your face in the yeah. last six months. You've jabbed needles for the last it's, six it's months on your face. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and you've literally got, you know... A chemist full of shit on your face, man. Like, that's not right. Like, does that make sense? Like, it, I know it's an extreme, and not everyone's like that. I'm just saying. Like, what the fuck? Like, where do you draw the line? How do you fucking even hone that shit in? I don't know, that bothers it's me. It's just a lot of issues. You 
I'm actually liking. Have you seen all the ads coming up with um about female equ- equality and like change, changing culture? And it's got like the dude. It's got like the teenage son in the front of the car with his old man, and he got like a detention or something. And he's like, why? Because uh, he flicked some girl's skirt up, and he's like, what, no. just for that. And then like he turns around, and his daughter's in the back seat, and his daughter's like young, like you know, under at high school age. And he's like, yeah, don't worry, I'm just getting used to the fact that I'm going to eventually grow grow up to be in a society where um, I'm going to be assaulted and abused, and it's going to be commonplace, la la la. And he just like looked at it, like, what the fuck? And it's like it's a it's one of those awareness things. No, you know? interesting. I saw the I, I saw seen the that, uh, woman good. bashing one. When uh, uh, you grow up to be just like your oh, he's throwing the, he's telling him to throw the ball at his old lady. Yeah, 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 yeah I've like seen to, that one. To like heckle her and shit, and yeah. it's like an ad. Like you wouldn't do that to Barbara. Yeah. Where did you say it or where? TV. You? I saw it's it like yeah last night before I went to bed. Oh, cool. I actually That's stopped cool. and paid attention. I'll see if I can find it. It'll be on YouTube for sure. You, they, they're the kind of ads you actually look at and you're like, damn. Do, do, do you know what they are? Oh, that's they're, very the equivalent. Good. Yeah, yeah. they're the equivalent well, of, you know, when we were kids and we used to watch TSC ads and it'd be literally a guy getting chopped Just hanging out the window. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, it'd be dude oh, chopped yeah. in half from like if a car If you drink accident. and drive. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever. Dude, they can't show those ads anymore. That were the days, man. They, they don't. They don't. Literally, car accident. Darren! <laughs> do you remember? Wait, do you remember that? They made a part two I to remember that. the fucking name. They made... That ad is in my head. Yeah. They made a part two to the one with the combi van. Yeah. And he plows into the side of the semi-trailer. Yeah. yeah. All I remember is the name Darren. Yeah. That's the one with the full car load. There's a goofy looking dude in that clip. Yeah. We used to pass it around the media there company. There you go. Darren! <laughs> See? Darren! I Darren. remember the fucking yeah, name. Man. This was back in like 92, 93. I had it on a Simpsons tape. <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> the fatigue kills the power nap guy? Yeah, man. The fatigue kills one is what, the one that they made the anniversary one. Yeah. They found the same actors, had them do the same exact thing. Oh, wow. But then showed them having a power nap and how they actually get to their arrival properly as opposed to being on the side of the road. <laughs> I remember in a his name. Van. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That was like, yeah, it's dude. Those graphic. are powerful, right? Yeah. But they should be playing those round the clock and not fucking ads about random shit. That the death, mean, yeah, you know what I mean. Do you know what gets me annoyed? If speaking of annoyances, yes, <laughs> when you're driving, <laughs> you know, you, we get all these fucking fines for being on our phones and yada yada and texting while driving and all this bullshit, 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 bullshit revenue, right? Yet on the radio. Every, like, ad, you've got ringtones going off. You've got me, 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 like it's happening on the road. Yeah. yeah. How fucking distracting and, are they? And, and you're fucking paying to get us into an accident. Why the fuck don't you take that off? Because you're fucking making money. And call now call to you. win this competition. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Yeah. Dude, oh my god! Have Can't call and win tickets to Coachella! Yeah, don't worry! You're able to get your phone. You know what I mean? So pick up you. your phone and fucking dial fuck it while you're you. driving. I hate it. I and hate where it. do people listen to the radio? In their car. Yeah, and the other thing is, fuck I don't know yeah, if, man. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, because producers you would have an ear for this. In songs. Yeah. Especially top 40 songs. You will hear the ringtone ever so slightly. Oh, yeah. You will hear the beeping. You will hear all I that. I can name fucking top 30 songs that have ringtones. But it's subliminal, annoying. Subliminal fucking. Yeah, I hear, it's it's fucked. I listen to hip hop, so obviously there's going to be gun gunshots oh, or like worst. pop sirens, right? Bang, bang, chicka, bang, I'll be bang. driving along and sometimes I hear a cop siren in a song and I'll think, hey man, what the fuck? I yeah. actually look at my review mirror. But the ads, every two seconds, have got fucking phones being dialed, fucking sirens, and Every fuck, it's like and song, beeping. song, yeah. ad break, song. Casey Ford is countdown. Yeah, and then <laughs> fucking competition to win money. Call your phone right now. Yeah. Pick up so, your what phone. Are, so what are Pete Paters and young kids going to do when they listen to Fox of Femme and all that? They're going to pick up their fucking phone while they're driving. Dude, in the morning when I drive to work here, drive. do you know how many people are like this? Oh, dude, I, I caught the train to I, the city last week. Yeah. I saw the same thing, yeah. And and I'm beeping, like, move! Like, I get road rage really bad. Like, no, I'm the guy that will stick his head out the window. If you're, if you're, especially if you're at the front of the line yeah. and you're in traffic. Accelerate. I don't care. So don't look at your phone for 30 seconds. Yeah. Because it's up to you. Like, that pisses me off, too. That, you know, uh, just one more gripe with the driving <laughs> thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like, when the light goes green, why don't people accelerate? Like, they sit there and they look at it, oh, it's green. <laughs> Step on it! <laughs> on, my day off, bad road rage, on my day off, I'm literally going to just follow you. <laughs> I'll go get, I'll borrow oh, my mum's car or traffic's something. traffic's getting really bad. Oh, I'm saying, dude, the road I rage I get. say that I, like, I'm almost an entitled driver now. 
Like, I drive and I'm just like, I'm the only one on the fucking road. Yeah, like, move. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll cut people off. Actually, come fucking- to think of it, I've never been in a car with you where you're driving. I can't think of a time. <laughs> so how does your little little thing go? Does it take sideways? <laughs> The Look, arrows. It's, it's, it's like a meet, 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 meet yeah, type zippy. of like zippy, like, but and it's touchy, like yeah. very that car touchy. Suits your personality. It actually doesn't. I've outgrown it completely. Nah, nah. Oh, I have. It doesn't go anywhere. It just makes like that loud revving noise. It's, it's actually just, very quiet. What are you talking about? Nah, when you fucking floor it, oh. it the engine sounds like it's dying. <laughs> oh, oh, is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm looking at a new car. <laughs> what are you looking at? Heaps. There's a Volkswagen, an Audi, and uh, uh, all SUVs yes. and an Alpha. Do me a favor. You're the last person that should drive an SUV. Do me, do me a favor. You would run. I want off the a road. sports car okay. that can cater me, for maybe three children. Let me tell you something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do me a favor, and this is from inside industry knowledge. Mm. Try. I know they look nice. No, but, but I like try- being high. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Well, I'm not talking about SUV. I'm about a brand. Oh. Try and stay away from Audis. Just try. No, but they're pretty good. Just try. They've gone better. Yeah, okay. I'm just. And the QV, they're coming out with. Have a look. Q3, sorry. For the money you're paying for an Audi, right? Have a look at the Jags. Yeah, I want an Alpha. SUV Jags. Dude, we almost bought one. Are you serious? <laughs> Dude. I'll no, but a Jag, you're going for my like 120 grand, right? No. An Alpha's 80, so that's how, as yeah, high as I'd go. You pick up these Jags for 80 to 82. Really? Oh, let me show you after the Link party. Link it. That's a they lot are, of money, man. Yeah, but they are sick, man. Yeah, but I have my car well, for like ages. Beamer. I've had it mine for yeah. thirteen. Yeah, I was going to say. My next car is going to be that. Yeah, and this I is want, and I want slick. I'm looking at. I skipped to that stage where I got a fast uh, car because yeah, I'm driving a Yaris. So the car I want to get needs to be beautiful. fast. It needs to be family and friendly. Range Rover. Oh, sorry, Jag or vice versa. I have bought out Range Rover or Range Rover bought out Jag. So. All the mechanicals and everything you see in a Jag is exactly like the Range Rover. It's just a Jag. Really? Jag. Yeah. But I've got not a lot of people in the industry like yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. So I he works. Like he actually Range works. Range Rover was like, like almost. Range Rover's fucking overrated. Don't Shitty. go near it. Yeah. Don't go near it. <laughs> Shit. The Jags are fucking sick. No, I know. I've seen black them. One, they man. Look like, <laughs> I will. It's yeah. either going to be black fucking and if it's an alpha, maybe red with a cam with a camel interior. Camel. Yeah, and wood grain. Oh my god! You never seen them on the road? What? Look how excited she's just got it. So Her excited. eyes have lit up. Actually, I really want it. I went to see it the other week. You know, the day you get it, we have to do like a podcast on the road. Like, you have to drive us somewhere. Oh my god, cool! No, I'm serious. Like, that'll be the fucking funniest thing in the world, man. Uh, I'll be hanging on for dear life. No, you won't. <laughs> oh yes, you will. I'll be gripping the Jesus bar like anything, man. Take it to colder. <laughs> <laughs> Take just it to- drift, <laughs> just drift, text man. That's fucked. <laughs> Have they got rid of all those summer nats and easter nats and shit? Oh my god, I used to go to easter nats. We used to Friday nights to call that. Oh, you used yeah. to go to easter nats. Yeah, with my first boyfriend. He was a yeah, he, he was a, a petrol head. Yeah. Like full bogues. bogues. Greek. Greek. No, it was, the, it was the petrol head from the areas. Uh, ah, yeah. okay. His dad used to own the Bridgestone Noel Park. Yeah, I can picture you at easter nats. Oh, I hated it. Like, you- no, I loved it, but like loved it for him, but I hated it. Like it wasn't my thing. I no, I can just see you there being that girl. What are you looking up? Range Rovers. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I'll find the model for you. I'm yeah. just letting you know. It's we gotta fucking, go. yeah, it's like yeah, I've still got a spray and arch. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Now? Yeah, because I've got Dove tomorrow. Yeah, I've got my Dove. I'm gonna be doing this. So I'll be um I'm gonna go to cemetery in the morning. Yeah. Grandma's birthday, so I'll go to the cemetery. Oh, yeah. That's the man. I'm going to vote. I'm doing the early vote because I'm working on the weekend. That's what I need to do tomorrow. Do the early vote so you don't have to fucking do Wait, it on the when weekend. Wait, have to vote on the this weekend? This weekend. Saturday. Fuck off. Dan Andrews or Matthew Guy? <sighs> I don't know. I hope I they both know, just so. fucking just go away. <laughs> just, I'm sick of politicians and I'm sick of it. like... Not that, you what, know what? I've actually stopped paying attention to it. Legit. I've stopped. I haven't looked at it, but um, if we're going to vote, but, I need to look dude, into it. going up Browns Road in Mulgrave Noble, it's all just billboards for like... Then your clothing. Andrew's fucking uh, office is right next yeah, to your building. my house. I hate yeah. when they and just send you flyers every time dude, I walk into that school. that's fucking junk mail as far as I'm concerned, no, man. No, but you know when you walk into the vote and some people are throwing flyers at you? Yeah, <laughs> they're fucking so tapping you, man. Dude, I let you walk past. No, no, that is no. junk mail. As far as I'm concerned, that is fucking junk yeah. mail, man. It's advertising material for fucking political games. Yeah, I, I, I hate it. I, I fucking understand it, dude. That, that's what I was mouth. gonna bring right up at the start of this podcast about the euthanasia thing. Yeah, this has irritated me. Oh, big what time. about vaccines? Have you heard of that? What? 
that the so one. So if your children aren't vaccinated, they won't be allowed into a school. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, well, how's that for control? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I just yeah. think that's bogus. It that's, is what it what is. A, what a joke. Yeah. But no, no but one... you're getting like arced up about religious studies. No, this no. is worse. We're injecting shit into your body that you haven't agreed with, like, or some yeah. people don't agree with. No, well, you don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But, but speaking on that. All the billboards, like, are, like, you know, facing me just as I'm driving up and down to it from work. And there's one that's been on multiple fucking houses, and it says euthanasia kills, right? And it's all about, yeah, Daniel Andrews okaying the euthanasia bill and la, la, la. And I'm like, I just looked at it, I'm like, euthanasia kills. I just thought about it, I'm like, yeah, it does. It kills people that want to die. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. They're not just grabbing people off the street, kicking and screaming and jabbing them. These people want to die. They have a right to die with some fucking dignity and be relieved of their pain. Yeah. But these fucking conservative fuckwits are saying, no, 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 they have to remain, you know, let's say, hooked up to fucking machines to the very end. How, how is that any more Christian than letting them die like, and not be tortured to death? I mean, they don't allow torture, but hooking a dude up to a machine and forcing him to live to the bitter end, that's torture. Yeah, hang on. They do torture. So deep uh, underground. No, no, no. I'm talking about c- Christian conservatives. I get it, but yeah. it's a fucking mask. No, I know that, man. But that's I'm saying the hypocrisy isn't just even a mask. The hypocrisy is blatant. It's right yeah, there. It's right there. It's not right to torture someone, but it's okay to but keep them But they are torturing alive. by someone by keeping them alive exactly. who want to die. So really, they're yeah. in alignment with what they're, all, they're already doing, which that's is torturing point. people. Yeah. It makes no fucking sense. No, I, makes... I brought it up about the, the veterinarian okay. thing ages Zag ago. Zach F-Pace. Oh, it's that! I looked that up. I can. I, I loved um, it. Yeah. Did you? Do you like Mercs? Uh, no. Huh? Not really. No. <laughs> I love that. Haven't but, you heard um, that? It's ad? not massive. I love that, but I just need to see the front. I don't remember it because it looks a bit nosy. Yeah, the- <laughs> nosy. <laughs> you know, we don't need any more schnozzles. On, on the nose. <laughs> the car's on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, I did like it. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, La- let's wrap this up because um, yeah, right. I'm, I've been I've been up since three. <laughs> work. <laughs> I've been up since three a.m. Okay, again, sorry to anyone that actually listens to this. It's been ages. I know. Blah blah blah. We all had shit to do, and we talked a lot of poo. Yeah, I've got to fucking do the website. I, I keep putting it off. I'm a dumb cunt. Anyway, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Hey, actually, that's a question. Are you going to come to the new location once we get there? What's that? Oh, ch- oh, I didn't even think. Yeah. We're well, moving. We'll disclose more information. Wow, well, yeah. let me think about that. So you got to think about that. Well, it's more it's more because this is very convenient for me. <laughs> That's <laughs> partly why I asked you to come here. Because I knew you'd come. Yeah, it's very convenient. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a lot harder. I'll say that much. Hang on, man. Sound like 10 minutes down the road. 10 minutes down the road. It's down literally... It's 10 minutes or, there. No, actually, no. Or you, from here, it's straight down Beach Road to left into Bay Road. And, yeah. and right into the... Okay, well, send me the address. Let me just see. Yeah, it's actually nice because they've got really nice cafes and shit around there too. Cute. I reckon summer, summertime, <laughs> summertime well, would be convenient for you because yeah, it's, it's right near the beach. Yeah. You'd literally be at the beach. Well, like, no, because I work nearby at Nobsky. But even Nobsky? so, I have to go... I have to go... <laughs> 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 the guy gets... I'm, uh, I'm uh, telling you so you get all right, it around okay, your head. Alright, okay, we'll work it out. But yeah. Yeah. You better not like bail. You have like loyal listeners that like tune in. God, who listens to me? Uh, <laughs> you know how many people, uh, how many so women sad. that listen have said, I'm so glad there's a female voice yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. That's oh, legit. Uh, like legit. They, they're happy yeah. to hear a female voice. And the fact a that. A different opinion. And that you're assertive and usually yeah. argue with us. Well, see, way. I'd rather hear that more than like a female voice because you can get any fucking no, no, she on As in, on it's just here. nice instead of hearing me and this cunt. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, man. Feel privileged for a second. We haven't had that many. Take the compliment. Oh, no, man. Yeah, what other Shit. girl? No, no, what's the compliment? I'm glad you have a female. Yeah, I'm the only female that's been no, on no, this no. podcast. What I'm saying <laughs> is they're glad because all right, there's a vetting it process. It stretches. Oh, like, is it? When yeah. these it's women not are hearing, just no, when <laughs> these women are hearing us, like just guys like talking shit or like, whatever, yeah. there's another voice of reason. Yeah. It happens to be a female. Yeah, right. And so, devil's advocates are half the shit because well, look, you really I agree do with my us. best with these schmucks. 
So thank you, thank you, loyal listeners, for tuning in. Go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> Hello, Spring Dead. <laughs> there will be no one call. <laughs> I'm going to take my wine. All right. Take your wine. Yeah, thank get you. your wine. Thank, thank you for listening. Blah, blah, blah. Like, share, follow, Good to be back. Subscribe. And, yeah, we'll be. hopefully there's going to be a bit more regularity. You better um, not make me sick. Hey, how long have we been running? Uh, two hours and 48 minutes. How long? Aurora. Three. Three hours? Nah, calm down. It's two hours and thirty-two, three, three minutes. Ooh. All right, call it. Chocolate, reach out. Bye. Bye.